Hello, my lovely Taurus. How are you, loves? I hope everyone is doing well. Taurus, welcome to the first week in November. As you know, it's a fixed zodiac sign season and you are one of them ready to roll for the next week. So for you in particular, it's the prep week for what is coming. So let's see, loves, what do we have for this first week in November from the time you view or from the 1st to the 7th of November. General energies, as always, take what mostly connects, resonates, and of course, whatever speaks to you. And many, many of you, you know how the drill is, how the energies are, and that many, many times I will read the energies. Speaking of the energies, there is quite a lot of challenges in this time period. So get ready, loves, or most likely be ready for certain changes, even sudden changes. But let's see how this week looks like and what spirit has there for you. An overarching energy, we have two of cups. Quite a lovely energy with the two of cups. New energy in here. Knight of Wands and Eight of Pentacles. And of course, Ace of Swords. So you got an offer, loves, but it seems here you, you want something here that it's long lasting instead of short term. So whatever it's here, make sure you are you are getting the the right energy. Okay? Because Knight of Wands speaks of something here short term, quick in the mix, but if you or works for you great if not you gotta be honest as well for some choices who are looking for work might be a gig here and there could be a contract very short term i see here two months coming in if you want something here long term or you know full-time job or full-time career you gotta speak up you gotta be honest for what is your target okay Five of Cups, the first card, Hermit, Ace of Wands, Three of Pentacles, and Four of Pentacles. So, I see you putting a lot of effort in. There's certain things here you you might not be quite happy about it in the moment. Because I see you working hard, but it's kind of like I work hard for so little paid. So it takes a lot of time to build something or to create something. And with the hermit here, you are in that energy that, what do I want? Because clearly you're looking at this three of pentacles. I want something here to move to the distance, to go forward. And this offer looks great, looks, you know, yummy, yummy. But I might not be up to. Four of pentacles feel, feels like it's not good enough. What is not enough. And that is more likely based on whatever you had as well. The Four of Pentacles clarify we have strength. It's like I can deal without as well. I can overcome it. I can go through. But I need something stable. Justice energy. I'm, I'm way more balanced. So whatever it's offer you, you clearly see it's not enough. The Five of Cups, Six of Wands, Seven of Swords, Four of Swords, and the Chariot. It's 
it's kind of like something here it's coming similar to what you had even three years ago but now with the six of wands and the chariot it's kind of like I'm not gonna jump but I will look into a little closer and then I'll go ahead with whatever it's real for me. The Hermit here brings Queen of Cups, Three of Swords, Five of Wands, and the Temperance. So now you are not in that energy of the Hermit very, very strongly brings this do I need craziness in my life? Do I need to allow this? Or my peaceful energy is better than any other craziness. Because I feel here, if you loves have a job offer or any kind of offer, money related, career related, yes, there is competition but even though it looks good at the surface, you're kind of like not impressed. Well, it's kind of like when, when I used to be before, yes, I will be like, wow, this is not to be missed. But now I just kind of like, I've been there, I've done that. I'm better than that. For some of you, that's also, it's a love energy here. I'm not going to get hurt again. I'm not allow this energy is so quick. You, you had a teacher prior. So I will focus on me and see if that comes along. The best advice. So Taurus, indeed, you, you have one of a kind of energy here, but... It seems here that it's not enough. Again, it's, it's very loud. If I do repeat myself sometimes, it's, it's because that message is very, very loud. The best advice, we have a tower, two of wands, ace of swords, and eight of wands, and judgment. You, you are quite awakened. You're wide open and feels here that with the tower, two of wands, ace of swords, eight of wands, you have no problem to speak about it. And it's quite frankly here, my, my feel that sometimes people might say, hey, you are way too direct, but you just kind of like, so you tell me this and you give me even this weeks or give me this time for me to give you an answer. I'll give you right now the answer. Why I need this time? Because I see it quite clearly, whatever it is. So you are just kind of like bound. Because I know what I really need as well. I feel here for some of you, that's why you are the way you are. Because you learn a very strong lesson. But also, for many, many choruses, you, you know your true value. You know how much effort you've been putting in into your growth, into your expansion, and so on. And it's more likely either real deal, either no deal. The best advice from the oracles, Armadillo Spirit, look at this. The number three, it's always a number of learning. 
And armadillo spirit speaks of said healthy boundaries. Your boundaries are quite strong. And that's how it's supposed to be for each and every one. Underneath, we have one but spirit be at home. And be at home is kind of I, I am who I am. You like me or leave me. Embrace the in-between, the flamingo spirit and pig spirit. Use your mind wisely. And you know, spirit has your back. Couldn't be better energy for you, loves. It's more likely you are protected. You know how to make this transition. You are wise, smart. And I feel here you are. Listen for the guidance. Listen to the guidance. So Taurus, that's what we have for you for this coming week. If you feel that this energy speaks to you, connects with you in a way or another, let us know. And you know what to do. Going ahead. Have a beautiful, amazing week ahead. See you next time. Namaste.